Welcome to our Language Cert International ESOL exams. Today we'll be sharing with you tips that should help you prepare your learners for their C1 and C2 level writing exams. First of all, a brief reminder of the key features and samples of the C1 and C2 level writing exams. Remember that candidates need to do two writing tasks. Both tasks are mandatory and both carry equal marks. Please note that the duration of the reading and writing exams is two hours and 40 minutes and that there is no break in between. Now, some more details about the writing tasks. At C1 level, Part one requires them to write a formal response, such as a letter, email, report, argument or article using written or visual input for an intended public audience expressing stance, opinion, justification or argument. Candidates need to refer to the content points provided and are required to produce a text between 150 to 200 words. Part 2 asks them to write an informal piece of writing such as a personal letter, a narrative, composition, story or a descriptive composition. Language functions likely to be elicited include persuasion, argument, hypothesis, as well as expressing mood, opinion, justifying and evaluating. Candidates are required to write between 250 and 300 words. What about the key features of the C2 level writing exams? Here again, candidates need to do two writing tasks and both tasks carry equal marks. Part one asks them to write a formal response, such as a letter, email, report, argument or article, using a written, graphic or visual input for an intended public audience expressing stance, opinion, justification or argument. Candidates need to refer to the content points or ideas provided and comment on them, and they are required to write approximately 200 to 250 words. Part two requires them to write an informal piece of writing, such as a personal letter, a narrative, composition story, or a descriptive composition. Language functions likely to be elicited include persuasion, argument, hypothesis, expressing mood, opinion, justifying, evaluating, etc. Candidates are required to write between 250 and 300 words. And now a few tips for teachers that should help prepare candidates for their C1 and C2 level writing exams. Just a reminder as regards to both parts of the writing component. Focusing on part one, first of all, remember that the aim for both levels is to assess the candidate's ability to respond appropriately to a given input to produce a formal response for an intended public audience. As far as part two is concerned, for both levels, once again, note that the aim here is to assess the candidate's ability to produce a personal letter, a narrative composition or story, or a descriptive composition. Referring to both part one and part two now, here are a few useful tips. Clarify that both parts are mandatory and that learners need to address them. Stress, they need to refer to all points included in the rubric, referring to fewer points will affect their task fulfillment grade. Remind them to write as much as required so that they do not risk being marked down if they write less. 
make them aware that if they write more than required, they will not be awarded extra marks. Practice the text types that may be in the exam. Remember, part one may ask them to write a letter, email, article, descriptive composition, narrative composition, report, review, or argumentative essay. Part two may require them to produce an informal piece of writing, for example, a personal letter, a narrative composition, story, or a descriptive composition. Remind learners that who they are writing to will affect the tone or style to be adopted. Clarify that they are required to paraphrase the topic and not copy it word for word. Remind learners to emphasize key points as well as expand and support relevant ideas. In class, set tasks which require them to share personal experiences, ideas, feelings, reactions and opinions. Train them in using idiomatic expressions appropriately and naturally. Practice a variety of cohesive devices, for example, despite, nevertheless, moreover, so that they can clearly mark the relationship between ideas and produce clear and coherent text. Set tasks which elicit a variety of language functions, such as persuasion, argument, hypothesis, justifying, evaluating. Remind learners to write legibly so that the assessor can make sense of their handwriting or response. Last but not least, ask them to have time for review. A piece of writing can always be improved. We hope that these tips will prove useful while you're training your learners. Don't forget to also refer to the support material we have created for you and for your learners, all of it readily downloadable and free of charge. Thank you.